All right, it's day one here in the world of trucking, and it's a loud world. Very loud engines. Let's get this party started. There it is. Engineer, where are you headed? Carry me back to Tennessee. Oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. Promise that she's married. Mr. Stop by a rest stop here. What is it, Saturday? You know, I'm driving a massive truck right now, and I'm not trying to brag and pretend like it's not hard. It is super scary. And I have no idea how they let you do this without some sort of special license. Either way, I'm probably five hours into the first drive. Uh, Tasha's in the Tesla. I guess the big question is, how does it feel leaving Los Angeles? It doesn't feel like it's real. It doesn't feel like I've left. Um, saying goodbye wasn't uh, necessarily sad because I've got so much stress driving this thing. And by the way, this road sucks. Look how bad this road is. I think it'll definitely hit me, but right now I'm just like focused on the drive. It's super scary to drive these big trucks. This truck's like a 30 something footer. Not an 18 wheeler, but it's at least a 10 wheeler, maybe a 12 wheeler. I don't know, I haven't checked the wheels yet. Either way, I got an empty pizza box. I've gone through four different energy drinks. And uh, it's time for this party to start. This truck tops out at 70 miles an hour. But when you're going up any sort of hill, it definitely only goes 35 miles an hour. There's nothing like getting passed by a smart car. Man, this road sucks!
course to tell you, if you're looking to do some sightseeing in Holbrook, Arizona, don't. Their biggest attraction is a paper mache dinosaur and petrified wood. I'd be petrified if I had to live here. Oh, they got a Burger King now. charging station in Shamrock, Texas. 24 hour bathroom, which is so nice. Look how cute. You couldn't build a movie set to look more Texas than this. Look at those windows. Single pane windows, sunlight coming through, but Elvis Presley, she's one of the Scottsdale. Then we went from Scottsdale to Albuquerque. I know all this because I've been vlogging. And today we're supposed to go from Albuquerque to Oklahoma City. And Tasha's in the nice, beautiful electric vehicle, and I'm in the hellhole, bopping and bouncing. Checking the light comes on, and here we are. We are at a Penske service center in Amarillo, Texas, which is about half of the distance that we were scheduled to travel today. 
it's what, 6, 6 p.m. or later, and we're just waiting on the status of our truck. We don't know if it can be fixed my and we can is, continue on or if we're going to have to switch trucks. The longer this is taking, my guess is it's being fixed. If something really bad happened, my guess is they would have let us know by now. But there's been zero updates. They know we're here, right? Yeah, of course they do. And it's zero degrees. Maybe zero or than zero degrees. Yeah, it and feels like 20 below. Ways. It's been quite the... um drive today because it has been extremely windy and very very cold and and i ate an rv sandwich and, uh, <laughs> and it leaked i got meat juice on my <laughs> thigh so you know overall Arby's, Arby's it's been trash french fries did you get the curly fries yeah yeah too seasoned you're full of it I'm gonna go check on the car. Not a terrible journey, but today definitely is putting a hiccup on our plans. Today was supposed to be our longer day, but um, if we don't make it out of here, stat, we're gonna have to cancel our hotel reservation in Oklahoma City and camp out in Amarillo for the night, and I then tomorrow we'll be. <laughs> I was, uh, you look nice in some safety goggles, I was, honey. Uh, I had my, my head under the hood, and the, um, the, the, the chili, the chili churi flange was, <laughs> was completely discombobulated off of the, the peanut brittle. So we might be making up this time tomorrow. <laughs> Right, day four road trip update. Um, we are leaving Amarillo, Texas. Dave's truck is repaired, although he hasn't started it yet this morning, but I'm getting a head start with my mom and Boone since we are in the Tesla and need to charge. And unfortunately, this is our first time experiencing winter weather with the Tesla. And it significantly affects the charge time, the battery life, the distance we can travel. Um, so we're having to stop a lot more frequently than we would in good weather. I mean, granted, it's four degrees outside right now. So, you know, um, but it is taking us a little longer to make these journeys the past couple days. Uh, right now, it's telling me I need an hour to continue the trip, charge time, and I'm already at 50%. Um, so that's annoying, <laughs> but it just means we get to take a little extra time on our stops and Boone gets to get out, go for a nice long walk, but it is cold, cold, and I didn't pack any gloves or hat or scarf because I didn't know it was gonna be four degrees on our drive. So they're all somewhere in the back of the Pinsky, but we're gonna be okay. Uh, today we're heading to Clarksville, Arkansas. So a little further than we had wanted to get last night, which was Oklahoma City, um, but not quite as far as we were hoping to be today, as if things had gone as originally planned. Um, but we're just gonna make up a little bit of the time that we lost with the truck yesterday. And then we'll just have a, a, an extra hour or two on our last day um, to get to Tennessee. So pray for us, hope all goes well, and we make it to our closing in time. <laughs>
hours from Nashville and there's an accident up ahead. I mean, when is this trip gonna end? It is a very special day today. It is close, house, closing day. house closing day and Boone's 15th birthday. Happy birthday! Boone. So he can come with us here. Hold that. He's 15, which means he has to wear a diaper, <laughs> but he's the goodest boy. Isn't he the goodest boy? And his legs don't work that well, but he's got his own little cart. We made it to Nashville. Today's the dog's 15th birthday. It's January 18th and we are also going to our new home to send a lot of papers to go buy a house. We promised the dog he would get his own backyard with grass and he's gonna be like where is it? <laughs> and it looks like it'll be a little while before it melts because this city doesn't get snow often, so they're not used to this. Yeah, none of these roads are plowed. <laughs> I tell you what though, for what it's worth, this Tesla eats it in snow. All wheel drive, perfectly leveled, like heavy car. I mean, I'm not like a, I guess I am a, a Tesla homer. Now for all of the issues with getting it a charge, that's what sucks. Two chargers at the hotel, one of them wasn't working and the other one, someone left their car charged all night, which they didn't need to do. It, it wasn't locks. actually charging, it was just plugged in. So I left a note on their car saying, could you please text me when you're done? <laughs> and when I woke up this morning, they still hadn't moved, but then they texted me two hours ago. So we got 12% battery in That's two good. hours, which again, in a supercharger, you can fill up the whole tank in 30 minutes, but that, 12% is going to make a big difference because now we can leave the dog warm in the car. Yeah, it makes a big difference on our day, thankfully. All right, so anyway. You forgot to mention because the supercharger in town is down for whatever reason. Yeah, who knows? Hopefully maybe they, maybe they were just plowing and they had to shut it down. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea why it's down, but clearly this snowstorm has made some uh, problems. But uh, we're not even going to need superchargers once we move because we're going to be charging in the nice warm garage. But um, all right. Let's go to the new home. Let's drive into the new neighborhood. Let's see the new roof okay. they put on the house. Very excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? Like, yeah. What are you feeling? I'm excited and nervous. They're kind of the same feeling. Um, I just hope that we love it as much as we did the last time we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I always said this, I'm, I'm not gonna have buyer's remorse, but I am gonna have buyer's stress because <laughs> This isn't some lease you get out of. We were buying, we bought a home. The money went through. We just gotta sign the papers, which is ridiculous. Like, what are we even signing papers for at this point? But anyway, uh, Nashville's beautiful, snow or not, and we're excited to be home. It's actually really cool that, like, they never get snow, especially not like this. And of course, I feel terrible for all of my plants that are in the back of the truck dead. that are dead. <laughs> dead. Dead. But um, it's kind of fun that this is like a, you know, a really like a one-off event yeah. of a snowstorm when we're moving in. I mean, it's going to suck for I mean, we could, us carrying our, you know, our we house. We could live here. Filthy, yeah, we could live here for 20 years and, and this could be the worst snow snowstorm again. ever. Yeah. yeah. Or this becomes regular. I don't know. It was supposed to snow again today. It hasn't. They say it might rain. It says it's 29. If I mean, it gets above freezing, it's supposed to rain. It snowed what two days ago. And look at this, folks. I'm going to I'm gonna twist this around so you guys can see. Absolute wild. Stuff. 
Wow. Are you excited or what? Yeah. That's our yeah, home. Nice. Look at the icicles. Wow. They have a Christmas wreath up still. I'm gonna take it down. <laughs> uh, should we go for a lap? We got 10 minutes. Yeah, let's go for a lap. Let's All right, let's right. go for a lap. They got the lights on inside. The driveway is partially paved. Neighbors have a good looking house too. Look how beautiful this street is, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. We did it! <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Our first home. All in here. This costs a <laughs> lot of money. Oh envelope. boy, a lot of serious looking people on that. You got I that book? Don't call me back and tell me I have to redo my signature. Boo, hey, you're getting a phone. Have you ever been so stressed about signing your name the same every time? Never. I was Trust like... me. What are they gonna not take our money? <laughs> All right, we own a home. It's raining and sleeting, so let's go back to the hotel because we can't go into our home for a few more days but yeah. wow. I don't know I mean like it's it's sentimental and everything but at the same time I mean we knew we were buying this home yeah two months ago a month ago so yeah it's um I gotta go make some money Ooh -wee. join the patreon <laughs> <laughs>